welcome to the Auto Car Show. Now, it's not really easy to take a big, boxy vehicle with a high center of gravity, a lot of drag, and make it fun to drive and sporty. Well, that's what the Range Rover Sports is all about, an SUV that's got powerful engines and a whole lot of technology to make them dynamically fun. But this 2013 Range Rover Sports says it's taking it many steps forward. It says it's the fastest, most agile, and most responsive Land Rover ever. Well, I have two days to get under its skin and find out if it's all that it claims to be. The top end V8 variant which I had jumped into came fully loaded and had the Terrain 2 response system to automatically analyze the road condition and choose the most suitable one. So I was warned, be it grass, slush, snow, dirt or plain tarmac, whatever I threw at the Range Rover Sport, it was equipped to handle it all. If you're going to get the sports version of some car, you might as well get the top end engine. This supercharged engine, you could definitely have fun, you know. Put your foot down and that growl of the engine is just delicious. It tempts you to push it and trust me, you'll run out of place and of courage before this one runs out of power. Beautiful countryside around Cheltenham proved to be the perfect testing ground with a good mix of narrow winding sections and straight on highways and some dirt tracks too. The 2013 Range Rover Sport is 55 millimeters wider than before and it looks huge. But when you get inside, you find that the driving position is great. Now when I saw this on the outside, I thought, wow, this is big. But it's amazing how once you start driving it, even on narrow country roads, it just wraps itself around you so nicely. It is going to be a bit of a squeeze in Indian traffic conditions, but it doesn't feel all that big from the inside. The supercharged 5-litre V8 model with 503 bhp is very, very quick. Flex your right foot and the muted growl begs you to smash the throttle to the floor. The alacrity with which this engine leaps to life is thrilling and the 100 comes up in just 5.3 seconds. And that's impressive considering you're pulling 2.3 tons of metal along with you. The corners leap at you quickly and just as you think it's going to step out of line, the Range Rover Sport hugs the corner and goes around. Get into this car, switch the engine on and you can ride a wave of torque till you stop. This engine is masses of fun. Gearbox works brilliantly as well. It's always in the right gear, keeping you in the power band. And when you want the sportier drive, you do have the paddle shifts. The ease with which the engine gets up to speeds ensures that you don't realize how fast you're going until you look down at the speedo. As the countryside floated away alongside me, I marveled at the way this cabin makes you feel. So well cocooned. The outside is just that. The outside. Inside, it's your own little world. Driving into Sunnyside, a private military area set up especially for us to test the skills of the Range Rover Sport, I looked forward to the twisty windy roads and dirt sections we were promised. And in anticipation, I switched the car into dynamic mode. When you switch the car into dynamic mode, you just feel everything getting hunkered down, getting tighter. It just takes the corners really well. Although, you know, the steering is direct and it points the car exactly where you want it to go. And there's minimal roll, minimum understeer, but the steering just doesn't have the feedback. Though the steering felt over-assisted, the grip around corners still inspired massive levels of confidence. I almost forgot it's an SUV because it was so car-like in its manners. With its predecessor, I always felt like I was fighting its considerable mass. But the 420-odd kg weight reduction has turned it into a new animal. 
there really is some credence to the sport moniker this time around. But it's not just the sport moniker, it still retains all of its practicality. Land Rover has thrown its full arsenal of chassis technology into the new sport to raise its fun factor from behind the wheel. An adaptive dynamic system monitors sensor readings 500 times per second. Torque vectoring breaks the inside wheel for sharper cornering and there are continuously variable dampers and a locking rear differential. It all works away silently so that you can confidently test your limits. This has a host of different terrains that you can set it for. Uh, there's inclines, there's gravel, there's snow uh, and a host of others. But I think putting in an auto is good because it detects the kind of terrain you are in and adapts accordingly. The dirt sections allowed us a little more dynamic action and despite all our efforts, the RRS stayed firmly put between the edges of the road. Having had our fill of fun, we decided to give the cameraman a shot at some too. And we are deliberately onto the grassy knoll and off the tarmac. Through a puddle that we thought was shallow. Well, it got the dust off the car for sure. The day had flown by and it was time to head back. Now disengage the car out of dynamic. And settle yourself on a nice, comfortable cruise down a highway like I am now. And it's amazing how this car wafts you to your destination in just serene luxury. The world outside is just about to come off. It's so silent in this cabin. There's no wind noise, just the muted growl of that lovely V8 supercharged engine. I marveled at the day and thought about all the kinds of terrain I'd been over. I'd never expected potholes on the road here, but I'd had a fair share of them too. At the moment, I'm on 21 inch tyres, but in India, you'll get 19 inch, and even on these tyres, pretty amazed with how this does away with the bumps and potholes. Isolates you pretty well in the cabin. The adapter suspension will ensure that you don't feel a thing. The ride quality was truly impressive. Not only was it supple, but it was flat and composed too. Well, it's been a wonderful day today and we've done quite a bit with this car. We've been through towns, we've been through the motorway, we've been on some nice twisty windy sections of road, through some gravel, we've done some mud slinging as well and it's been pretty interesting. I look as fresh as a daisy like I've just stepped out in the morning and that's the beauty of this car you know it, no matter what you do it takes you through everything, keeps you feeling fresh and this V6 engine is a whole load of fun too. Well tomorrow get my hands on the diesel which will also be coming to India and let's see if that holds. So today it's going to be the diesel engine for me. It's day two with the Range Rovers. I've had some time to ponder last night about this car but I'll tell you exactly what I think a little later. Um, diesel you know, this all black um, and without all the red and the gloss from the other car makes it look a lot more Spartan. But everything else is there. And uh, let's get the show on the road and see what today is all about. And I have to say that if someone hadn't told me it was the diesel, I wouldn't have known. It's so refined. Well, if you get into the 288bhp V6 diesel after the supercharged V8 petrol, it's a bit unfair and you're bound to be a little disappointed. This diesel engine is pretty strong, does a good job once the turbo kicks in, you ride a nice wave of torque and the beauty about it is it's equally easy ambling around at bath throttle, in traffic conditions, at lower speeds. So in our Indian conditions, it'll do just fine. But 
it doesn't have the dynamic mode here and I miss that because it just makes the car hunker down, the shifts get quicker and you know when you're buying the sports version of a car that's really what you want isn't it to have some fun up a twisty windy section of road and then I'd just rather have the V8 for that. It brings up the 100 from a standstill in just 7.2 seconds and that by any means is quick. Well, they said this morning was going to throw up a few challenges but that was not what I was expecting. Believe it or not, we're going to drive up into a plane, through it and an obstacle course inside is what I've been told. So I'm quite looking forward to that now. Squeezing past the park Land Rover, I realized just how well the Range Rover Sport could cope with tight traffic, if needed. It really didn't look that small, but it shrinks itself through some pretty tight spaces. Hey, hey. Crazy. This is mad. And the wheel articulation ramps had me with most wheels in the air. The cameraman was brave and ran down and squatted in front of me as I drove through first class and down the nose of the plane. Yeah. <laughs> brave? Because at that steep decline angle, I couldn't see him below the bonnet. But I was good and I didn't run him over. I've just been on and off a plane. Breathless is what I was after that adrenaline rush, but there was no time to catch my breath as I had a flat out run, a fast corner and a slalom up ahead. The diesel steering definitely had a different rate because it offered much more feedback and as I swung the car around, I could feel the road much more. From the airfield, we set off to the woods to give the terrain response various modes a thorough workout. We drove through some pretty slippery slush, went down serious inclines, and then some. But after all that, I was still feeling fresh as a daisy. That's what Range Rovers do best. After the mud and slush, it's time to find out if the Range Rover Sport can swim. And swim it did, right across to the shore. Having done it all, I really wondered if there was anything that this car couldn't do. It comes with a host of features to ensure that the driver is at ease all times. There's even a smartphone app that lets you check your fuel level or even lock your car after you've left it. There's a truckload of driver assist systems too, but most of them a little defunct in our driving conditions in India. The one, however, that will help is the park assist if it comes as standard. If the cameras all around the car that give you every kind of view possible are not enough, then parallel or perpendicular, the car can park itself. Once you park and get out, you can lay your eyes on the Range Rover Sport. The Range Rover DNA is all there, but there's a lot more of the Evoke in the styling now. The floating roof and the wedge shape, although less harsh, give the car style. The square look has become more curved and flowing now, and the Sport uses the all-aluminium chassis of the full-size Range Rover, which has given it a 39% weight advantage over its predecessor. Well, if you've seen the outside, it's got a lot of flair and style to its design, and on the inside, it's pretty much the same too. Now, I'm in the top-end V8 supercharged and uh, obviously you can get a lot of variations on the interior and this one is red and black a bit too much of red for me i think gets in your face after a while but over and above that the quality faultless as ever everything top notch and loaded as well Familiar stitched leather envelops you, the buttons and knobs all feel perfect and there's a smaller sportier steering wheel at your fingertips. The smart LCD dials are always easy to read and the only downside was the infotainment system, which compared to its competitors is a little complicated to use. 
The Sport will come to India this October with two engines, the 5-litre supercharged V8 with 503bhp and the 288bhp 3-litre V6 diesel. Ex-showroom prices should be between 90 lakh and rupees 1.3 crore. And if you're the kind of person who likes both the thrill of a fast, sharp handling sports car and the rugged appeal of a proper off-roader rolled into one vehicle, few other SUVs can combine it better than this. Well, over the two days, I've put it pretty much through its paces, on-road, off-road and even in the air, as you saw, on and off that plane. And I found that the Range Rover Sport is all that it claims to be. But if you really want something sporty, the V8 Supercharged is the one to have. It's a whole load of fun to drive. But if you're asking me to sum it up, the Range Rover Sport combines practicality and performance in just the right measures. <laughs>